afternoon friends today is the 9th of September and we are here in South Georgia <clears throat> watching old Irma getting ready to come up into Florida and in all indications it looks like it's going to come up through Florida and it's going to come straight through Valdosta, Georgia, which is where I live. <laughs> so it's talking about packing winds when it gets here to Valdosta and Colquitt County, which is where my wife works, of having winds of 70 to 90 miles an hour with wind gusts 100 or more. <clears throat> so I'll just tell you. If it comes through here that strong, uh, I tell you, I, I just I just might have to get in my car and drive somewhere because I ain't sitting in the house. Uh, only because I've got two old trees behind my house that uh, wind that fast could easily uh, break and snap those old trees and could bring them down on my house. So we'll see. But of course, I'll going to be definitely praying that that doesn't happen but anyway uh so i would just appreciate you know y'all's prayer and of course not only us but you know still people in uh texas and people in cuba and just everywhere this plate this this storm is just leaving utter destruction you know, there's just so many people that don't even have a home after this storm. You know, and here I am worried about two little trees. There's a lot of people that's been hurt a whole lot more uh, than I possibly ever could be. <clears throat> but anyway, it's just letting you know that it's going to come right on through us. At least that's what it's saying. So, so much for that. Uh, I hope y'all had a chance to watch the live recording yesterday on the BPI, <clears throat> or actually it's WBPI, uh, Channel 49 there in North Augusta, South Carolina. I think it turned out very well, and um, yeah, so of course, uh, it, um, it really gives you a lot of information about the times in which we live. And you know, me and uh, Dorothy, which is the host and the producer and owner of that broadcast, you know, we talked about what if, you know, what if the rapture doesn't happen? And we find ourselves entering into 2018. Well, like I explained to her, we got to, we as the body of Christ, we have got to realize that whether the rapture happens or not, we are still the light of the gospel to this lost world. And friend, as bad as we want Jesus Christ to rapture us out of here, as bad as we want to be in his presence, there are people that are still lost, that still need to be shown love, love. They need to be uh, shown that Jesus died for them and that he wants to give them eternal life. And we can't do that residing in heaven. We have to do that while we are still on the earth. So every day, like today, is another day that God the Father has given us in His long suffering, whereby which men can still be saved, born again, before the rapture of the church. 
And like I shared with Dorothy yesterday on the show, God loves the praises of his people. But the greatest gift you can give to the Father is bringing a lost soul into the kingdom. And friend, that is what we are commissioned to do. We are commissioned to be light of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are commissioned to go into all the world preaching the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. Letting others know that he took the penalty of our sin and he died on the cross in our behalf and he has given to us eternal salvation for those who will accept his gift of salvation and friend I'm going to tell you once the trumpet sounds it's over I mean, it, it's over. I, I just re really want you to realize when the trumpet of God sounds, it's over. We're going to be, we're going to be gone. And this world is going to be plunged into total spiritual darkness. The light of the Christians is going to be gone. So if you want to do something, if you really want to do something to show Jesus Christ that you love him, share the love that you have been given by the Father through Jesus Christ into your heart. Share his love with another human being. People are not our enemies. The devil, Lucifer, Satan, whatever you want to call him, he is our enemy, not people. Now, I know people act like the devil and people act like Lucifer, and that's because they're full of the devil. But they are not our enemy. They are human beings that Jesus Christ died for. Over 7 billion people walk this earth, or should I say are on this earth. That's 7 billion people that Jesus Christ loves and cares about. Well, friend... Find a way, like I said yesterday, find a way to begin your ministry. I had somebody write me and say that they were very uncomfortable, very uncomfortable with approaching strangers. Well, that's the reason why I have the love letter. If you will email me at million for Christ at AOL.com it's not millions there's no S in it it's million for Christ at AOL.com and I will send to you my love letter and you can fold it up I'll even show you how it's folded and you can go around and give the love letter to people. All you have to do is just walk up to somebody and says, and I, I mean, this is how I do it. I say, can I give you something? Most people say, sir. And by, by the time they're trying to figure out what I'm talking about, I've already got it handed out in front of them. They say, oh, thank you. Because on the outside of the envelope, it says, because you are loved. 
nobody return or nobody turns that down unless they're just a a cold-hearted devil everybody will look at it smile and say thank you and that's all you do you know there's many ways that we can have a ministry you know they make these uh, salvation coins that you can purchase on eBay and you can hand those out but I think those are like 50 cent each so you you'll you will definitely be investing a little bit of your money if you go that route. But anyway, what price can you put on the salvation of a human being? Friend, I just want to say this before I end this video. There is coming a day in our existence when after the 1,000 year reign of Christ that when God the Father makes a new heaven and a new earth that new Jerusalem will come down out of heaven on this new earth and in that city we will live for all eternity Satan will be in his eternal punishment and those who chose to follow Satan in rebellion will be right there with him so the point I want to make in that is this we who know Jesus Christ and are born again our names are written in the book of life. How many people do we want to take to heaven with us? I had a dear sister tell me that she watches my videos and that, that they just bless her heart and she can't wait for the day that the trumpet sounds and she can run up to me and say Mr. Asa I watch your videos I love you brother now you know that blesses my heart that just so blesses me to know that I've got brothers and sisters that I've never met on earth that I will meet one day in heaven that blesses my heart. <laughs> I tell you, I wish there was some way I could, could meet y'all before the trumpet sounds, but I, I just don't see how because I'm down here in Georgia and y'all are over in England and Scotland and Hawaii and Illinois and Indiana and just, oh my goodness, Kentucky, Tennessee, I mean, California. Um, where else? The Carolinas, Florida. I mean, I have uh, literally talked to people on the phone, uh, through email, and just y'all are y'all just all over. And and it's it's awesome to be able to reach precious brothers and sisters that spread all over this world. Well, friend, I'm gonna end the video now. Find a way, seriously, find a way to minister to the lost in your area, your community. Because soon it's going to be over. The trumpet of God is going to sound. And we are going to be in the presence of our Lord and Savior forever. Forever. I mean, that's just amazing. To be in his presence forever. Praise God. Well, God bless each one of y'all and have a blessed day.